season, if you're like me and you're going to be spending it alone, you're going to want some comfort food. So today I'm going to show you how to make caramel apple gingerbread cake. It is so easy, it doesn't take that many ingredients. Uh, what you're going to need is gingerbread cake mix, three quarter cup of chunky applesauce, half a cup of warm water, two tablespoons of butter, one egg, a caramel topping, and whipped cream. Let's get started. I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We're going to take our bag of gingerbread cake mix. Then we're going to take one egg, take our butter, let's not forget our water, and the applesauce. And then we're just going to mix it all up. So that looks about good. And it tastes good too. So we're going to take a baking dish and just spread it throughout the bowl. And now we're just going to put this in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. It's ready. Smells like heaven. So now that it's cooled off, I'm just going to cut squares. Sometimes they stick on the side. And then I'm going to take my spatula here. It on a plate like that. I'm just gonna drizzle some caramel topping across the plate just to make it look fancy like they do on the Food Network. And then I'm gonna take some Cool Whip, not Cool Quip, and just put just a touch on the top like so. And again, some more caramel because you can never have too much caramel. It's Christmas after all. And now we dig in. All over the holidays. And remember, sometimes it's not about the company, it's about the cake. Thanks, Natalia. If you don't want to spend all your time in the kitchen baking, getting a real Christmas tree can be a great winter activity. Several farms around the GTA offer a variety of trees and Christmas fun. Horton's Tree Farm has three locations in the Stouffville oh. area. Drysdale has farms in Egbert and Ballantrae, and Chickadee Christmas Trees has locations in the Guelph, Cambridge area. If you cut down your own tree, it will cost you between $40 and $60, but if you prefer a pre-cut tree, prices range from $40 to $120. Reporter Crystal Burney went to uh, Horton's Tree Farm to get some tips on picking the perfect Christmas tree. Growing up on a farm with hundreds of Christmas trees in my backyard, heading out in the snow each holiday season to pick the perfect tree has always been a Christmas tradition in my family. While not everyone has a tree farm in their backyard, a variety of farms around the GTA provide an opportunity to go and spend an afternoon, and maybe even catch a wagon ride, as you go out in search of your perfect Christmas tree. So we're here with Brian at Horton's Tree Farm to get some tips on how to pick the perfect Christmas tree this holiday season. Hi Brian. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here. Now, how many types of trees do you have available here on the farm? Just about 12 varieties we're growing here. Mm -hmm. Spruce, pine and fir, three mm -hmm. families of trees, but you can make a Christmas tree out of virtually any type of evergreen. Okay, and what are some of the main differences between those different types of trees? Needle appearance and length. This is yeah. a pine trees have the longer needles. Okay. This is a scotch pine, a medium length needle. There's also have red pine with a very long, right. 15 centimeter long needle. And then there's short needle varieties, the spruce and fir trees. So it's uh, largely a matter of appearance. And what about fragrance? Can I, I can smell some of them coming through here. Do different ones have different smells to them? Each variety had, tends to have its own aroma. Yeah, the spruce has the strongest fragrance. But uh, th that being said, you might have put 10 spruces in a row and three of them will have a very strong scent and four of them a bit and four none at all. So it's a very, uh, trees are kind of personal like people are. And now I read there's 30,000 trees growing here. So with that many trees, when people come to pick their perfect tree, what are some things that they should look for? Well, it's, again, it's a matter of personal preference. You look for good color in the tree. That's usually an indication of, of good health. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can actually, feel the needles and bend them on a warm day like this you should be able to bend it right around and it won't snap 
That means it's full of moisture and you can tug on them. They shouldn't come off the branch very easily. So. And when you picked your perfect Christmas tree, how do you care for it so it lasts through the whole holiday season? Uh, the key thing is to always keep it well watered. Mm -hmm. You uh, want to have a tree stand that holds a lot of water, preferably up to about two liters of water. And then top it up and check it every day so that they, they'll drink a lot in the first week particularly. And then it slows down as the longer it's been in the house, but uh, they, they'll keep on drinking the whole time because they're in a warm house and they dry out. After finding your perfect Christmas tree, ending the day by the fire with a cup of hot chocolate is a great ending to a wonderful Christmas tradition. Crystal Burney, Humber News. Now that the tree is taken care of, here's what you can put under it. The top toys for Christmas have been released. The Nerf Stampede ECS Blaster comes in at number three. This is the god of all dart guns, but parents need not worry, they're only made of foam. At number two is the Fisher Price IXL, the Game Boy for Tots. This handheld gizmo will keep preschoolers entertained and teach them reading and number skills, among other things. And coming in at number one is the Xbox Kinect. Unlike the Nintendo Wii, it uses a microphone and 3D camera to put the players inside the game. If you're hoping to pick up these fancy gadgets, be prepared to break out your checkbook. They're all over $50. Now from kids to adults, if you're looking for live music, stilt walkers, and mind readers this holiday season, Buskertainment might be the event for you. Reporter Romy Levine went down to check out what sort of tricks these entertainers have up their sleeves. The Young Street Business Improvement Area is hosting Winter Magic, a series of weekend events ranging from lighting ceremonies to wine tasting. Winter Magic also includes Buskertainment, where performers and artists entertain Torontonians with the unique talents. One particular performer stayed out of the cold at 777 Bay. This is Mysterion the Mind Reader, and his tricks will truly blow your mind. And I want you to write down the name of any famous person in history. But by not being able to see it completely, I already am starting to sense a name. Closed up? See it? All right, pass it back to me closed. Now listen, you've left it in here or you've taken it out? It's in there. It is in here, are you sure? Yeah, All right, positive. Another thing, one of the movies that I remember seeing as a kid that really um, influenced me in a way because I, I felt connected to it was The Shining. And of course, oh um, <clears throat> that movie of course with Danny and, and, and then there's Jack Torrance who was played by Jack Nicholson. Now I have a feeling that you went that direction. I have a feeling, if you could hold that for a second, that you picked Jack Nicholson, and um, I want to just take a peek here. Yep, that's exactly who you chose. Now, what I, I want you to, no, you're going to be floored right now. I want you to hold that for a minute. So what I want you to do is at any point, I want you to say stop. Stop. Right here. Are you sure? Yes. You don't want to go up here? No. You're going to go right here. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what I have marked on my leg right here, okay? I got a tattoo for you right there. I just want you to take Oh, my it. God. Um, it's a scene from The Shining, just so you... Uh, it's my favorite movie. You know, those tricks may seem complicated. Mysterion says having the ability to read minds is a talent everyone can learn how to do. What I call ESP is an extrasensory perception. I call it everybody's superpower because we can all do it. And so that's kind of what it is that I do. I have a lot of fun with it and I'm uh, thankful for that. Though the focal point for Buskertainment is the performers, the event also embraces the spirit of giving. Donations from the event go towards Raising the Roof, a charity that helps support homeless Canadians. Dina Nestorina is managing the Bay Street Busker location. She says donations provide the necessities to get homeless people through the winter. Well, we are collecting money for the food, for the very basics um, of their life. And hopefully we're doing a good job. You know, I, I actually see we're getting some money at the end of the day. So. This man was at the event with his daughter. He says he was impressed with the money raised for the charity. I think it's uh, it's amazing, uh, definitely. And during the holiday season, Christmas season, that's uh, we all need to contribute definitely. There are over a dozen locations along Young Street that people can experience winter magic. In this building alone, one can play Mysterion's mind games, get a henna tattoo, and enjoy live music. There's one weekend left to enjoy Buskertainment, and I strongly recommend you take advantage before the magic is gone. Romy Levine, Humber News. Although there are great things to do around town, many Canadians head south over the holiday season. Here are some of the top winter tourist destinations in Canada. Quebec's Ice Hotel, where visitors can spend a night on a bed made of ice. 
Whistler's Black Home Ski Resort, which was the official Alpine ski venue for the 2010 Olympic Games. And Niagara Falls Festival of, Festival of Lights offers a variety of holiday events from skating to shows to light displays. Christmas traditions have changed from the past, but history comes to life in Toronto. We'll show you where after the break.